I found out that my brother follows my OnlyFans and that he was recommending it to his friends. Okay, so I have some wild confession tweets for you. Okay. They're a doozy. <laughs> so the first one from Twitter is mm -hmm. me and my boyfriend have threesomes with my best friend's boyfriend. And she doesn't know. Oh my God! And she do doesn't it know. Every Sunday when she's at work. That is cr every Sunday while she's at work. That is diabolical. Your friend is an op. So, female friend and her boyfriend are having a threesome with this girl's boyfriend. With her friend's boyfriend, yes. I don't even understand how that like comes to come to pass like they just asked him hey are you down like and it's so uncommon for most couples to have a man join in too so it's like dang they didn't even want to ask you damn that's like on the guy's side i mean unless the guy just goes both ways and he's you know getting the best of both worlds that's some adam 22 shit i'm seeing that's crazy <laughs> next one i found out that my brother follows my only fans and that he was recommending it to his friends so i started making brother pov videos and now i'm blowing up what what does that even mean what does brother pov mean? like you know stuck in the washing machine step brother help me you know that is so i cannot because what if your parents bro that is just that's just weird from top You're to just bottom. weird. Like, I've seen so many stories of girls finding out, like, oh, my stepdad's on my OnlyFans. Or, like, it breaks up their family, but your brother? That's crazy. Same not even stepbrother, not even, like, half, like, brother. Like, and, that's... like, you're just so comfortable around your family walking around and the whole time. He's like, I saw that video last night. Oh, <laughs> that's just sickening. That is. That is sickening. Oh, God. Level of hell for both of them. <laughs> Next one that is just simply what? My drawers smell so bad. I've had them on for a week and they're burning my eyes. Why you are you gonna take a bath? Why are you wearing them for a week? That shit is crusted to your I ass. I don't cheek. understand what is so big like on hygiene. Like I understand when you're a kid, you know, as kids, it may be mm -hmm. like, I don't want to shower or something. Yeah. But once you hit middle school and now you're starting to sweat and growing mm. hair and stuff, high school, like you're a grown man or woman. I'm assuming a man if you said draws. You're a grown man. <laughs> and you're wearing the same underwear for a week? That is crazy. We support good hygiene on this part. Absolute the same like I said, that shit is peeling on, bro. Like burning his eyes? That's telling me you telling me he got onions. When you sitting down, you can smell it. Like that that's, ass. Like that that's that's just gross. Just, that shit just wafting. He didn't text me for days after going to see his mother, and I didn't know he was getting married. Wait, what? So this girl is the side woman, and her man. I'm gonna go see my mother for like a weekend trip. He was getting married. And he was just gonna stop talking to her, he just was, block her, goodbye. Or maybe like, he was gonna come back and just be like, hey, honey, that was a, a great trip. Yeah. Like, not even. Wouldn't he go straight to his honeymoon and she'll have to find out on Instagram? She said, he said, my mom says hi. That is so sad. I don't know how I would feel. Let's see. So I don't know why I think this, but when I look at old people, I'm in my head thinking, damn, with one good punch, I could kill you. That's crazy. I, that's an I, intrusive thought. Like that is that is an intrusive. That's crazy. But like, I could just mm, one just, punch and you're I, done. Body slam them. Like, no, I sit there. Some I, I will say sometimes I sit there and think like, damn, you look pretty old. I give you about two more years. Walk by some. I could take him. <laughs> I can take that guy. I give you about three more years. You look you like you survived long enough. When they want to be like respect your elders, I could take you right uh, now. Okay, oh my right elders. Right now, come on, R come on, right now. My girl told me I don't spend enough alone time with her son. I told her to keep that energy with her father. No, the baby's father. Now I'm blocked. Wait, why would you want your girl spending time with the baby's father? Well, no, he's telling her keep that same energy with his father. Because he's telling, she's telling her man, you don't spend enough time with my son. That's not his kid. Mm -hmm. And he's like, girl, 
get his father to spend time with him. What's the, what? I saw That's, this video uh -huh. of um, this girl. I don't know how many baby fathers she had, but she had like five kids, maybe how two or three baby, baby daddies, fathers. right? And the one guy came and um, I don't know if it's the same video or two different videos I'm thinking of, but one of them, he wanted to take his kids to Disney. And she was like, what about my other kids? And he was like, what about them? What about them? Honestly. Another one, he came to bring his two kids to McDonald's. I, I was just about to was say like, that one. she was like, they can't have it. You don't have their siblings feeling some type. They should feel some type of way. They should grow up with the anger that their father did nothing for them. It's tough because you never want to wait. Like, you never want to allow something to happen to a kid. But no, right? That's just not his responsibility. You shouldn't make a kid grow up feeling like, oh, my dad does all of this stuff for me. He's been sending me stuff. When it's the mom, you know, wrapping stuff up, putting dad on it. Just to, like, no, let them know that their father wasn't there for them. And you know what? Because what if they get successful one day and that dad mm -hmm. is like, hey, mm -hmm. kid, no. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's just a lesson to be learned for some of these women getting baby daddies no, from the wrong men. That's crazy. Men, huh? You have one baby father, at least one, who was willing to take care of his kids, and you're going to punish him? Like, if you don't take care of all of my kids? No, you're not going to take care of none of them. <laughs> and then he's like, all right, not my problem. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to go to court and tell them I don't take care of them when I have all these receipts mm -hmm. of me trying to provide. Mm hmm Ciao. my girlfriend got mad at me because i made a gay friend and that made her that made me look at her differently now i'm gonna go cheat on her with the woman of course oh that's homophobia is crazy oh, oh what that, that cheating part had nothing to do with the rest of it he said you're homophobic i'm gonna cheat on you yo like, that, he said okay he You're said, what the woman, though, I'm not gay, but, like, yeah. her homophobia disgusted me. He said, that pushed me over the edge. This is my 13th reason. Literally, he was <laughs> looking for a reason. Badly. Looking for a he reason. Was, he was fishing for that reason. It's like, but why would you have a problem with your spouse? Making a, a gay, gay friend. friend. That's, that's, that's weird. weird. Big weird energy. I'm not going to say you deserve that, but you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> I had left my underwear on the bathroom floor and they disappeared. I thought my roommate or my sweet mate threw them away. I later found them in my roommate's desk. Oh my God, that is not so a panty sniffer. He said, we going on the panty raid. That is so, I remember I once saw a story of a girl whose underwear, like her nice underwear, kept going missing right not missing. and one day she needed to well no i think she suspected that her friend or her roommate took it because mm -hmm. i don't remember why she was in her roommate's room but she went into her roommate's room and went through the laundry or i'm <laughs> me and the stories remembering them or she was doing laundry and she went through the basket and found her underwear in the roommate's basket exactly that's, that's some, so gross that's why some would like you take somebody's, shit. yeah why would you take Fucking somebody's you. lace thong and you're like that's cute i'm gonna take this like shit. what i'll take yours <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend asked me to take his friend's mm. virginity oh. as a birthday present the first time it was in seconds <laughs> But by the end of the night, he got really good, and my boyfriend got mad at me when I told him it was good. That's, you know, okay, okay, well, first part of that story, as the friend, that's a real ass nigga, I ain't gonna hold you. Why are you pimping out your girlfriend? That's, as the boyfriend, that's the weird part. <laughs> I literally let a friend go because he was trying to pick me out to his friend. We were in college class, right? And he's like, oh, I have this friend, like, Ah, you would love him. He's like six foot five. He weighs like 400 pounds, but full muscle. Like he benches 500. Damn, juggernaut. And I, <laughs> he was a big guy, but I was kind of like. Hey, yo, relax. Oh, no, relax. Yo, no, chill. No. Y'all hear this? <laughs> no, no. Like he, he looked like freaking, I don't even know, like The Rock, but shorter. And I'm I was dead. just like, okay. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, so I really think that you guys should hook up. And I was like, that's crazy. I'm sorry. And he was like, yeah, like, he's going to college soon. Like, you don't have to date him or anything. But, like, you know, get the stress off, you know. Like, That's I was like, crazy. I was like, like, do you hear yourself? You are crossing a line. And he was like, no, no, don't get offended. Like, I showed him your profile and he likes you. And I was like, 
Why are you showing him my profile? <laughs> because he wants to get with the college girl before he goes to college. I'm sorry. Yeah, He's in high school. That's 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 the that's the, that's just a homeboy doing too much for his homeboy. Literally, and that just my friend. And I was mm -hmm. like, no. Mm -hmm. And then he later goes, Hey, I'm having a pool party soon. Do you want to come after? It? For like days, he was pushing and pushing. That's weird. And I was like, this is a setup. Mm. To his face, I was like, you're literally screaming setup. And he was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, what? So you going to invite your friends, right? Ain't that dude your friend? And I was like, this ain't happening. I kind of mm -hmm. like let go of that friend. Because I was like, you're so weird. He's like, but I'm the boy that all my friends come to. For and I was what like, does that mean? What does that mean? You if pimping I girls out like... Ted ass. What is his Weird. name from uh, Devious Maids? Oh, Adrian. Adrian oh Powell. Oh my god! If you guys watch <laughs> Devious Maids, one of my favorite shows. I always have to like spin the block and rewatch the show again always. every year or every always. six months. <laughs> Well, that was all of our crazy tweet confessions. Those were disgusting. They were crazy. I can't. What really gets me is the underwear one. The brother I one know was mine. You, oh, really? That one was. That is crazy. I know your ass itching. I know your ass itching. That, itchy ass is fucking better than insect. You can't even sit. You're like, like the two pickles with your butt cheeks. Like Ew, it itches eat down eat there. Eat her, eat her. <laughs> But I have a couple's question for mm -hmm. you. What's the craziest thing you've ever been caught doing? You want to go first or me? I'll go first. Okay. So mine, I don't know what was going through my mind when I was younger. I'll say, I'll start with, this is about theft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa. Damn. This is about theft. So um, I had a friend. It was back in the days. Like when you have them DSs and a Nintendo DS, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah, those. Yeah, so one... My sister started it by stealing someone's Nintendo. And like, <laughs> we had like a group meeting. Hey, she's missing her Nintendo. Can anyone like fess up? And like my sister, I didn't know she had it. And she put it somewhere. Wow. So when we and get I home. Think sister is funny. When we get home, she's like, look what I got. And I'm like, oh my God, that's her fucking Nintendo. And I didn't, I was young, but I did not want to admit that she took it or that we had it. Mm -hmm. So I was like. Rats, but you know how Nintendos you can put your name on it. Mm -hmm. So like whenever you open it, it's like Brian's Nintendo or it says Brian or you know. Yeah. So um, basically, lets people other people know you're online. Mm -hmm. But my intrusive thoughts one. So I was like Nintendo, but we got no games. Hmm. So I go back and like you know we're all chilling, cool, having a great time, and I'm like this one girl has. Too many games. No way. So, <laughs> no I, way. there was someone sitting down across from where I was, and I don't know how thieves do it. How do you just go to someone's stuff like it's yours, like making it look natural so no one knows that you're stealing? Y'all tag team deboed her shit, it bro. It was by accident. My asshole. So, I decide, okay, I'm going to take this girl's stuff, but I didn't know if the person sitting across from where I was standing recognize that wasn't my bag. Mm -hmm. So I was like trying to make it look Oh, what do I have in? Let me put this let me put this in my bag. Oh wait, I need that. So like I'm opening the bag and I'm make it like inconspicuous, making it like exactly. you're supposed to be in there. And I really wanted to look at what I was stealing, but I couldn't because I felt so guilty with mm -hmm. that girl sitting mm -hmm. there. So I grabbed like the random boringest game. I was so sad. I should have grabbed more. But then to cover my tracks, I walk up to her and I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, what? I'm like, I just felt like you were looking at me or something. Like, what? Making it as obvious that you were stealing right. as possible. And I was like, what are you doing here? Like, I just seen you've been sitting here. Like, I was just, you know, in my bag, you know. Just, Asking the here. store clerk, like, yo, you come here often? It gets worse. <laughs> so, I go home, I put the game in, and I'm like, oh, this is a boring game. Still can't Do you even play it with it. No, it was like some game with like, just like writing, I don't know. It was writing. so dumb. So um, I know it's stolen. So I bring it again with my friend friend and I'm like, girl, let's play some games. It's kind of boring, but let's play some games. And she's like, okay. And I get a blanket and I cover us so we're both under it. And I lied and I was like, this is my cousin's. I'm borrowing it from my oh, cousin. Oh, okay. But remember, it says <gasps> the person's name no! on it. So I thought to be slick, I could put nail polish 
where the name was. On the DS. Exactly. That's crazy. So it's saying the girl's name under it, nail polish over it very terribly because it's a bright screen. Like, yeah, it just like, went, sh it just shows straight through. It still shows. And then my friend's kind of like. Like, and uh, I'm like. Where'd you get that from? Let's play. And it was just so funny. That is awful. That is horrendous. How, how old were you? You said back in the day? I don't even know. I don't know. I, I guess just figure how old did we have to be to have DSs? Oh, shit. I was young as hell. I mean, it depends on which DS. If you're talking about like one of the original models, it was probably like six or seven, me. Oh, I have no idea. I just know that was my first time stealing. Well, don't worry. We didn't forget about you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Hand vs. Her TV. This is our re-recorded first episode. The first episode got kind of uh, ugly yeah. with the audio. And we're just so excited to finally get this episode out for you, grow our community. So please like, comment, and share, and subscribe if you like what's going on because we'd love to continue to push more episodes out because... Hey, interactive you, podcast here. Exactly. We want to hear from y'all. So we want you to comment down below um, your own answers. What are your wildest confessions? Mm -hmm. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? We will. I promise you, we will comment back on everything. Mm -hmm. Like we want to get that discourse going. It's going to help us with the algorithm to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and we can get as many videos out for you as possible. So please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Okay. None of it. Now, we have some crazy news going on. Mm -hmm. All of our childhood actors or favorite actors, if they're not the top 1%, mm -hmm. they're not making any money right now. Yeah, they're getting cucked out of everything, basically, because of uh, streaming services and Literally, everything. Literally. Like, it's crazy because so many of them have decided to come out and show us their pay stubs for their residual mm -hmm. pays. They're getting like 86 cents per episode or per month, whatever it is. It's just not enough. That's why they got the, um, like I, I watch, I love Marvel movies and they're pro predominantly the only company that like I know is having like a big impact because of the writer strike and mm -hmm. actor strike and everything like that. All these different like, I guess unions you can call them, mm -hmm. since they're looking out for each other. Uh, they're just saying, yo, we're not doing anything and like, so y'all treat us with respect. Yeah, because um, the production companies, let's say, like the people who own these shows like first of all cable was expensive so they were losing a couple of coins but once the streaming services have gotten like much bigger mm -hmm. they've been like really competing against each other to have this show on my side blah blah mm -hmm. blah they're offering these productions so much money and they're like oh yeah i want that and but the thing is they're not distributing that money to the writers and the actors mm -hmm. these companies have made up but yeah, if you're not money. the if you're not the lead in the show, like the kids in Stranger Things, I know they get like millions each one of them and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, but it's different. If you're the top like one percent mm -hmm, of exactly. actors, like I'm sure they have something better than nothing. But a lot of these actors have to have either have spent their money wisely before the streaming services really got popular, mm -hmm. or they're getting side jobs. An actor came out saying he works a part-time job. That's crazy. Imagine being a famous actor working a part-time job. Like, that sucks. Like, They're that's, like, I'm famous, but I have no money. That's like a doctor saying, like, I'm working a part-time job to pay these bills. Like, I'm in debt. And the sad thing is, strikes, protests, these things take time. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a long time before they actually get paid. They and are they, struggling. And that delays all the projects that we're looking forward to. I know, like, like with Marvel, mm -hmm. we were expecting a bunch of dope, crazy productions, and on top of taking longer to come out, it's almost like the quality has dipped down tremendously just because of writers not having the time, the resources, or I guess you could say even the drive since they're not being respected so right now. So many shows have been pushed back for like at least two, three years because of it. And shows have become garbage because of it. It's the first time we've had actors and writers strike at the same time. Yeah, and it's, I actually love the fact that they're, you know, working together like Finally, this on it. Finally, because first it used to be the writers, but the actors were like, I'm not trying to mess with my paycheck, so... Power to the people, but I got a film. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, my happy ass over here. Right. So. And it's funny because I even see like YouTube channels, like um, YouTubers are making more than actors. That's crazy, but it's that's subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to see like where YouTube has come, but like um, 
certain YouTubers that cover like TV series even make mention to like, oh, we support the writer strike and everything like that. We even asked like the federation or union or whatever they're calling themselves mm -hmm. to, you know, ask them if it's okay if we talk about these things. Mm -hmm. They had to get, they like had to ask permission to continue doing their work. And I think mm -hmm. that solidarity, it's just dope. I love that shit. I love everyone coming together. Cause honestly, we have so many differences, so many different fights going on right now. Mm -hmm. We would do so much better as a community, as a world. If we all came together instead of like, oh, we're on our side, you're on your side. Power you know? to the people. Just so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's really crazy. And I, I hope we see some mm -hmm. progress coming soon. I need to see some. some I know Disney has cut out a big portion of Marvel's budget because mm. all the Disney Plus shows have kind of just been dropping in quality and Damn. viewership. Like I know, even though we're currently watching Secret Wars, we haven't finished it. Secret Wars had a really shitty ending from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, She-Hulk, awful. I <laughs> wonder if it would have gotten this bad if it wasn't because of the pandemic. I think, I think at this point in time, pandemic talk has been long past. I think it's more so just the issues of payment have been the re and overworking. Cause I know Disney is really working their studios mm. to like the bone, the nub on their fingers, like with Star Wars and Marvel under them. Like those guys, they're being forced. Cause usually Marvel would only put out like maybe like four projects a year at most. Y'all need to start working for Tyler Perry. Cause I know Tyler <laughs> Perry paying his yeah. actors, Tyler Perry studios. <laughs> Holla at your girl. I want to be on one of your <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I want to be on one of your shows. I love only her Tyler Perry. My Gross. favorite Tyler Perry show, for better or for worse. Where is the next season? If you have Prime Video or BET Plus, you can watch it. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me know what you think down below if you're a Tyler Perry fan. So we have a messy hot take. Lay it on me. So. I recently went on my birthday cruise a mm -hmm. few weeks ago around July 19. It was for six days with some friends. And I have a friend who basically cheated on her man a couple of times. So she talks about him a lot. She really cares for him. They've been talking for a while, but they're basically dating, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, um, like they're not, the that's not your man, but that's your man. Exactly. Like, mm -hmm. she spent a majority of the crew is talking about all the stuff he's done for her, he, oh. the dates they're going on, um, all the sentimental things he's making for her, etc. And Wow. Um, he wanted to make it official mm -hmm. before the cruise. He's younger than her. She's like, ooh, let's say four years older than him. So she was kind of like, oh, I don't know if we should make it official yet. Kind of like holding back. But she was like, That's but crazy. I know for sure after this cruise, I must tell him we should make it official. Ah, oh, so she she was just using that cruise as a bachelor part, bachelorette party, basically. Like, this is my last couple of nights of freedom. No, because she was saying how this cruise and all the people we've been around, all the couples I've seen, like, I miss him so much. Like, I miss my most amazing man in the world. Let me just go put a dick in my mouth. Yeah, so, definitely. Definitely. So she was like being lonely or like every time we're somewhere that has no Wi-Fi, I find myself missing him, wanting to mm -hmm. talk to him, FaceTime him. Mm. And whenever we are back on the boat, she is talking to him like crazy. But there was a guy that she was sleeping with multiple times men let that be a warning and she I, can say all these <laughs> things she can say and do all these things she'll still put one in her mouth same thing for guys <laughs> but what i'm saying <laughs> is i'm a girl's girl i'm a man's girl like <laughs> your man's girl yeah that's yeah the so i don't think that was right so i'm like wait don't you have a guy and she's like yeah but like he'll never find out <laughs> and then i say okay so what if he went on a cruise and he did that. And she's like, oh, I would kill him. I murder Woo! him. So I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to put you on blast with your man. But I'm trying to tell you, I don't think what you're doing is right. If, if he did it, you wouldn't like it either. Women matrixing that accountability, bro. <laughs> uh, so my question to you is, um, am I obligated to tell him? what she did, although I don't know him. I've never met him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you think? Eh, it's, 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 
at, in a perfect world, you would want to be, you know, the right person, do the righteous thing, like, hey. But it's also not my business. I feel like if it mm -hmm. happened again, I'd be like, girl, like, no, get it together, because I don't like cheaters. I wouldn't want to associate myself with you, because I feel like I, I think that's a good point. If you, if you, if it's at the point where you're like. I don't really want to be like next to you. I don't mm -hmm. want to be friends with you. I think that would be the point when you would go and be like, look, I'm like, I'm not gonna be friends with you. So I don't care about the outcomes. And I feel like it's a very controversial topic for our generation to be like, oh, I didn't cheat. We're not exclusive. I'm so oh sick of exclusive God. talking, dating, Gee, married. You're not, like, you're not, you're not in a relationship till you're married type shit. Right? Like, like it's that's so dumb. Bullshit. At that's you, Kiki your Palmer. <laughs> yeah. so that's your person but it's not cheating i feel like people abuse the non-exclusive title mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. do what they want and then come back to have you someone are secure hurting yeah. your partner you're scarring them because mm -hmm. they're like i wouldn't fun. do that to you and you did that to me because i even told her so what if he found out like how would you feel or how would he feel and she's like this would crush him like, he his probably little, would never talk to me again. His little young heart, bro. Because he's young. Like, this would be his first young love. Young and dumb. Ow. Ooh, first love. That's even worse. Like, imagine how much damage. He, that's going to turn him into the villain. And he never going to be the same again. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. Because I don't condone it. I told her, don't do it. Like, I'm not bashing her. But mm -hmm. I do think this needs to be brought awareness to. Mm -hmm. Because... He recently went on a cruise before us, and he didn't cheat. What he did was buy her stuff. That's crazy. And we brought must it to pray. her. We must pray for my brother today. Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely feel like if you are bold enough to cheat on your partner, mm. you better be bold enough to be transparent. Yeah, to deal with the that truth. consequences. Yeah. Tell the truth. Tell them what you did because you're not going to do that and just slip it under the rug because I'm pretty sure they probably made it official by now. Everything comes to light one point or another. Like imagine, mm -hmm. imagine they go on a cruise together and that same guy is there. And you're just like, hey, remember how much Follow fun? Follow each other on Instagram. Mm, mm, like, mm, mm. now this guy is going to be liking all your pictures and DMing you and stuff. And you're going to be like, I mean, I'm not with him. He's in a different state. And it's like, but it's still micro cheating. Like, you, first of all, you slept with him. And now you're letting him flirt with you and like your pics and stuff. Like, oh, we're not going to do it. Again. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, no, that's crazy. The continuation, it just means like... Like you want more out of it. Like if you were, if you really felt that bad, you would have nixed that in the mm. butt quick. What do you guys think? Would you tell yeah, let me know. your friend's partner about the stuff they no, done wrong? Friend. Oh no, you're right. Your friend's partner. Yeah, yeah right. cause I, I'm definitely not the one who's gonna go. Hey, look. The whistleblower. Yeah. Right, but I might pull a Jersey Shore if it happens a couple of times and write a little note, send it anonymously, like <laughs> make a new Instagram account and just DM him. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was one of the boys, if I seen one of the boys dancing in the club and he had a girl at home, you know, I'm. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll play it. <laughs> ah, ooh, ah, ooh, don't play with me. <laughs> the boys never cheat, bro. Never. I'm moving on because you gotta <laughs> piss me off. Your turn. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, I got something spicy for us here. Spicy. Spicy. Let's okay. See. Am I the asshole for telling my sister she chose to have kids and she has to deal with the consequences herself? Damn. That shit's that is something I would say first and but foremost. It's literally something always on our minds. Like when it comes to someone who got lots of kids and their kids are always around and you're like, this is not my problem. Like, bro, you are not dropping them shits on me. Right. Let's see here, let's see here. Okay. I, 27 female, mm -hmm. go out with my sister. Damn, she put a name and everything. She said Lily, 35 female, uh, once every two or three months for lunch. That is both because she has three kids, eight oh, wow. female, five male, and a two-year-old female, and barely has time, and because I have very few days to myself thanks to my residency. Throughout this whole lunch for the past few years, she has complained non-stop about how hard it is to have kids and to be a mom. Non-stop. Okay, whose problem is that? I, I didn't hear anything about a husband in there. So no, you, that ass, that I'm ass. sorry, after the first... <laughs> 
I'm not like I'm not saying other people, you know, different strokes for different folks. But mm-hmm. like after the first kid and you still single because your man left you, you probably should get married before you have the second one. That's no, that's dead ass. Like how that should be the best lesson for as to why you should be You're already doing it alone. Now you know the next time you don't want to add the double the work and then still Fact. be alone. Like how do how do some women like literally look for the same man just like oh he's gonna nothing to me and he gonna stay. Yeah, but, but we're not, not gonna have the pro abortion whatever topic. You not know? even. But um, I would have sat there. I would have been bored of the conversation. I would have been like, bro, you gonna invite me to keep just complaining or are we gonna have some fun? I like your kids like, is giving me problems, son. Let's see. Okay. She talks about her kids 100% of the time and complains. Like, why you got some badass kids then, too? <laughs> How bad are they, you then? You must love motherhood. I was extra tired during our last lunch, and I lashed out at her, saying I don't remember anyone forcing her to have kids. <laughs> Tell her. If I could... I can't uh, even snap them. <laughs> Like, who told you to have kids and now you're ruining my vibe? And then everywhere you go, you complain about having kids. Like, I have a story for that. Like, I had a friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say it. I I know someone who wanted to put their baby up for adoption. Oh, that's crazy. Because they had a kid young. And Mm -hmm. they were like, look, I want to be young. My friends go that's, out, da da da. I might want to put her up. And I was like, that's, I mean, wow. That's because everyone told you not to keep it. I mean that as a young as a young girl like that's fair in a sense. You it's had a tough. kid before you could drink, bro. Yeah, like that's you asked for it, but I mean maybe not. I, we don't know the situation, yeah, but like yeah. you gotta like it's just smart. What's smart for you, but most importantly, what's smart for that it child? It seems like all girls are like, I'm not gonna do it till I'm married. But then when it comes down to it, for the most they fold. part, for all the <laughs> people fold. that I went to school with. And how many are pregnant on Instagram? Like, for the past two years, the Instagram timeline has been babies. I'm not seeing no rings. I'm not seeing no weddings. Just babies. Babies, no husbands, no fathers. Babies. And Mm, that's it. Exactly. That's insane. That's insane. But, I mean, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Everyone just got to do better. All right. Um... I don't remember anyone forcing her to have kids, and now that she had them, she should be a big girl and deal with the consequences of her actions and decisions. Preach mm-hmm. it. Literally, they take accountability. Mm-hmm. Uh, she got super mad, called me judgmental as hell. Who knew? Ooh, excuse me. Who knew nothing about parenthood? Damn right, I don't know nothing about parenthood. I'm not a parent yet. Right, but I just know if I became a parent, I'm not saying there's a right or a wrong way. I would do it with my husband, and it's not going to be that hard, and it's probably going to be a more enjoyable experience because maybe mm-hmm. I'm not that young when I a have husband. kids. So I'm prepared. Mm-hmm. It's so much, people will say it's a lot easier to be a parent when you have the money, you have the house, the stability. It's not always a terrible story for everyone. Right. When you decide to do it, when you're ready. Exactly. Like not let like I mean accidents happen, but then you gotta be you gotta be cognizant. But then of you have to make a hard accident. choice. Mm-hmm. Because that accident gonna cost Cause you. Because whenever you ask someone who's younger, like maybe you shouldn't keep it because right now you're not thinking ahead. Little the pregnancy is gonna be cute. When your baby's one to two years old, it's mm-hmm. gonna be cute. Mm-hmm. After that. Lil Wayne said it best. You gotta wear that latex so you don't get that latex. Yeah, move on. That I'm latex. Move on. <laughs> move on. I'm gonna drop kick him. Oh, I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. I was like, exactly. I'm taking one of the most challenging paths a person can take in my career, and I've never complained to my family about my shit. She said, I'm doing my part. I'm doing what I got to do to have a crazy career. And you've never heard me complain. You chose to have no peace. Not my problem. Mm -mm. Not even a word because I chose it myself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You got it from your own bootstraps, bro. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She's, oh, damn. She told me I was a horrible sister and an even worse aunt. Well, I'm not a therapist. Ah! That that don't make me a bad aunt. I'm not a bad aunt because I told you to shut up and love your kids. Like, that makes yeah. me a bad aunt. When you say it like that, no. I told you, shut up and love your kids. Love being a mother. You chose it. 
That'll make me a bad aunt. Yeah, if you don't, if you maybe an insensitive person, but that's about it. <laughs> if you're sitting there like consistently, if that's all you think about, then that's all your life is. Because I mean, happiness is just all mental. Like you if, decide to be happy. If you're a negative person, it really takes just trying to be a little bit more positive, talk a little bit more positive to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about like depression, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying like, if you always want to talk bad about your kids, maybe if you just start, oh, they did something cute today, you know, mm -hmm. just being a little bit more positive, that might help you see motherhood differently. You ain't never going to love, you ain't never going to be happy till you love yours. Because your kids are really old. Don't tell me you still have postpartum <sighs> depression. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, she told me I was an even worse aunt and said she wanted nothing to do with me. Um, am well, I the asshole? Edit. I did have a conversation about it every time we had lunch in the past year. I started by saying, let's keep all the negativity packed away for today. See, she even said, like, yeah, let's not ruin the mood. It let's not like damn you're it. the problem. Not the I writer. promise you, yeah. your kids, kids are just being kids. Don't mm -hmm. they not even have that part of the brain yet to know that they've done something so terrible? They can't, they can't they don't really think have ahead. A conscious, exactly. You know? They're just kids. Being kids. And just you're soaking just, up everything. There's nothing worse than having an angry parent when mm. you're a kid and don't know why they're so upset. Because kids can do something wrong, maybe got spanked, but they move on. Mm -hmm. They don't want to keep living in fear or whenever your parent comes home, you leave the living room, you go to your room. You yeah, know? it's like, oh, there go the peace in the house. Right. Like a, a parent that's always so angry mm -hmm. and moody, you want to ask them a question. Shut up. As Shut soon up. as they walk in the house, every chill vibe is gone. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Like you're the problem and you need to get some help because clearly help. you're upset about the decisions you made in your life, but don't go up in ruining your children's childhood. So where they can't get, they can't um get a, I'm sorry, what are my words? They can't wait to get away from you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> let's well. see. Um, I even said, let's talk about our adult issues, not the kids for a change. I hoped eventually. Not even that. I don't want to hang out with you to talk, talk about, about your problems. issues. Yeah, we can constantly. hop on the phone call and text about it. But when we see each other, it's, hey, girl, margaritas, music. I got enough problems on my own to be adding yours on top of it. Because I would rather like talk about your issues like on, the, on a nice long phone call. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. if I'm going out. I'm not trying to like. You're not going out sad. Yeah, you're immediately sucking away my um, social, social battery. battery. Exactly. Like, no. You're making it more difficult for me to want to be out. So it's just you. You're a negative Nancy, and if you want people to be around you, pick a new topic, pick a new struggle. Like that's mm -hmm. about it. I hoped eventually it would work. It didn't. Ended up complaining about how hard it has to be a mother 100% of the time. That's crazy. Yeah, she's just a negative Nancy. You cannot be a parent and not be there 100% of the time. You chose the wrong profession. You <laughs> wanted to be a parent, but there's no days off. None. There's no days off. You're constantly you have no in that personal gym. space. You have to understand how much you're giving away to become a parent. Like, not in a negative sense, because I'm like, when you want to become a parent and you're ready, you happily give away that time because you're now not losing your time you're gaining our time mm -hmm. you know Family our time. memories exactly so you just didn't know what you were getting you're into. not the asshole but your sister is yeah very much so mm -hmm. and now i have something mm -hmm. my 25 female close friend 25 female feels uncomfortable around my boyfriend 25 male how should I bring this up to my boyfriend? Wait, does it explain why she's uncomfortable? Yes. Oh, well, let's find yes. out. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, like, what? Go somewhere with that bullshit. But, okay, what's So, let me try to get through because I think it's a long one. Yes, yeah, a long one. I'm okay. going to try to bring yeah, get the reading. whole thing. <laughs> I invited my boyfriend to watch a movie with me and my close friend. Before we went inside, he asked about the number of possible seating arrangements, which I thought we were joking about, because, you know, that's my man, that's my friend. Where do you think I would sit? If <laughs> yeah, the, you in the middle. Exact okay, exactly, okay, great. When we got to our seats in the theater, my friend sat down and my boyfriend sat in the middle, leaving the seat on the other end for me. And I wanted to sit between them because it makes sense and I'm the mutual connection, right? right? And if I sat at the end, I wouldn't get to hang out with my friend and my boyfriend. And me and my friends are the one who planned it out. 
Uh-huh. My boyfriend seemed annoyed that I insisted on sitting in the middle, but he ended up moving to the other end, but that made him upset. I noticed he didn't reach for the popcorn, <laughs> but he paid for it, so I'd keep offering it to him, and he refused, and it was mostly me and my friend eating it. After the movie, my friend went back home in her own car while my boyfriend and I decided to take our cars and talk before we separated. Mm -hmm. He explained that he wanted to sit in the middle so he could hold the popcorn and that way I could snuggle on him in the movie and my friend could still reach the popcorn. I countered it. Mm. <laughs> I countered that it made sense that I wanted my friend to sit next to me too. Mm -hmm. He said that he was upset that I didn't snuggle into him during the movie when he put the armrest up, which I usually do when it's between the two of us at the movie. Oh, uh, okay. I could, I could see, I could see what he's talking about and why he would be upset it sounds like bullshit truthfully like the whole like oh i just want you to snuggle up on it's me. weird it's weird i'll be damned like you sh mm, no because like if i was going out with you and like your friend i wouldn't immediately be trying to sit next to your friend mm -hmm. like i'd be like okay where's brian mm -hmm. like if we went out and like there was a table and people already sat down and there wasn't a seat next to you i'd kind of just stand there like <laughs> Not just stand there. Like, like somebody, NPC. you know, you're standing so somebody gets up because you're like, I'm standing next to my boyfriend. Yeah, I could, like, if that's something that they actually did, I could see why he's upset. Like, oh, this is what we usually do. Like, I can see why no. it would make sense in his but head. But that's not what they usually do. They typically that's go to the said. movies she and she lays on him. When it's that's just them it. two. When it's just them two. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, first of all, I wouldn't want, if you're in a third wheel kind of setting, you're not trying to make your friend feel uncomfortable by kissing. Like, that's the worst freaking thing when you're out with your Nobody friend. Nobody in my life would know that because I was always the third wheel. <laughs> Shut of up. So it just seems really weird that he's trying to just sit next to her. Like, I can pass the popcorn. Mm-hmm. Like, my friend most likely doesn't want to reach into your lap the whole he, movie. He got a hole in the bottom of the popcorn. Literally, like, <laughs> he got a hole in the bottom of the popcorn. <laughs> like, no, it's his good. Shit, his shit covered in butter and grease and everything. That's exactly. crazy. So, recently, my friend asked me to brunch, but she asked for it to just be me and her. She explained that my boyfriend had messaged her a few <gasps> times and that she's been feeling pretty uncomfortable. No way. What? So it had nothing to do with the seating arrangement. No, it had He's nothing. trying to get her. Oh, that is crazy. He's like, come on. I, I know you want this. Did it say, could be on the side. Did he say what he messaged her? <laughs> I read through them. And at first, Ooh. it concerns me. Um... Wait, what? I read through them, and first it was concerning about my mood recently. A previous hike... Oh, she cannot type. A previous <laughs> hike that I went on with her. But she also mentioned that it was hot through the hike, and he said something like sh sh uh, she could have been there with him and his pet to another place. What the f this what girl can't she? type. Well, let me see. Let me just try to figure it out. Yeah. So basically, she's like, oh my God, the hike I went on with my bestie was so hot. And he's like, oh, I should have been there. I could have cooled you down. Oh. And he also sent pictures of his pet to her. So after the movie incident, he messaged her thanking her for letting him come to the movie and mm -hmm. asked her if he looked good. What? First of all... I invited you. Why are you telling my friend, thank you for letting me come? Did you like what I was wearing? I wore it for you. Like, <laughs> what? That's crazy. He's trying to get confirmation. He's I'm like, sorry, but your friend is an idiot. What dipping, do you mean your boyfriend makes me uncomfortable? Be like, girl, your boyfriend hits on me. Like He was dipping his toe into that water. He's trying to, trying to, test to it. see if she'll like, you know. Is she down. Exactly. Is she down for the cause? Oh, my God. <laughs> So, um, mm -hmm. after the movie incident, he messaged her thanking her, blah, 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 asked her if he looked good, and then asked her if she wanted to see this different movie, too. By himself? I know you're by not. Himself? I know you freaking lying. He's asking her to see a movie by themselves. He's trying to flirt, see if she likes it, and be like, you want to hang out alone? He's, he's keeping it so low-key. He's keeping it so innocent to the point where it's like, if something... But if it's it, not innocent. But if it did get out... He could be like, oh, it was just innocent. It was and so that's the thing. Mm -hmm. People who want to say it like that, guys don't realize you just look fucking delusional. Nothing looks innocent. It literally looks like what it is. 
Like, it never looks innocent to be inviting someone's friend somewhere mm, alone. No, never. Oh, I was just trying to hang out. Really? Get your own friends. Oh, Get your oh own I believe friends. you. Oh, yeah, you just trying to hang Like, no. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and she said she wasn't interested in a nice way. Backtracking a few days ago, I got four tickets for a game and mentioned it to my boyfriend that I could ask if she was interested in the extra ticket. Afterwards, I let my boyfriend know she wasn't interested in going. Apparently, he messaged her asking why she wasn't coming. Why are you reaching out? So I would have been hard. told my friend, first of all, the moment he DM'd you, you should have never answered and just been like, girl, your boyfriend is trying to message me and we we are not cool like that. I don't know why he's trying to talk to me in private. And then you should stop answering him. Man's is like, blasphemous, bro. Responding is half the battle, too. Like, the fact that she's responding, that's, exactly. that's half the challenge like, gone. <laughs> you come to me like, your man is hitting on me. He's hitting on me. But you're not, not stopping, stopping him. Right. Of you're course, stopping I, have to, I have to handle him because he's still repeatedly reaching out to you. I shouldn't have to tell him not to. But you entertaining it, even if it's just to bring it back to me, is like, okay, enough's enough. I get it. Like, stop answering him. I'm thinking of something, but I don't want you to kill me on camera. <laughs> oh, don't even say it. Let's see. So he asked her why she wasn't going. Mm -hmm. And she also mentioned that during the movie, she was uncomfortable when he sat down in the middle initially and also thought the seating arrangement should have been how I stated. I wasn't mm -hmm. aware that he was messaging her privately until now. And she brought up that he could have created a group chat with me and her, true, instead of messaging just her. She asked if this was weird or his weird way of trying to make friends because he doesn't really have any other friends. But no, because that's not an excuse. Do I look good? Like, yeah, no. no, no I, I, <laughs> thank goodness you said that because you reminded me that he said that. Because I was going to be like, okay, maybe he's just weird. Maybe he doesn't know how to make friends. But the fact that he mentioned that I look good. Like, like your like partner's you friends can be your friends, but mostly acquaintances. They're not your friends, yeah. Like, like they're not yours. Mm -hmm. And then after mm -hmm. all of this, I don't feel comfortable to invite him to any plans that include my friend. How did I bring this up to him? I Girl. mean, that, that's not really something you've got to bring up to him. Like, that's just your friend. It's not no, like... No, he. she has to bring well, up that his behavior is unacceptable. Well, but, oh, yeah, that that's definitely what she has to bring up. But she doesn't really have to bring up the fact that her friend doesn't like hanging out with him. Or, like, no, she being does. included. Not really. Because... Yes, she needs to tell him, your behavior is so unacceptable. You made my friend uncomfortable. And I'm uncomfortable having you around, too, because you're messaging her on the side. She's right. She said that you should have created a group chat with all of us if it's purely innocent. But I, you still to this day haven't told me you're messaging her. So I wouldn't even know that unless she told me. Well, yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, damn, I completely lost my train of thought. You should really consider if you want to be with him because that is really weird. And that behavior is just going to continue if mm. you don't discuss it. And if he, if he takes the route of, oh, I'm just trying to make friends, mm -hmm. leave him. It's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop. Yeah, I was like, but but what I was saying was just like instead of like they're not, it's they're not all going out all the time. So what I'm saying is like, but he's trying to. Anytime they do something, he's that, like, then that's that that's a different issue. That's something. And you, the that's fact a different conversation. that this woman, if someone was trying to hang out with me out of innocence, I would feel the innocence. She's uncomfortable. Yeah. So it's just. It, Mm, it's really weird and you're lucky that it's your friend and not someone else because it'd be even worse if you found out he was trying to befriend another woman with those kind of tactics like that mm -mm, don't look good at all so now i have a game for you okay what do we got we're really testing the mandela effect oh, and I hate seeing those. you know if you're from an alternate universe, I 100% I believe it. I 100% believe it. The world did end in 2012. That's what happened. In 2012? <laughs> in 2012. A lot of people thought that we weren't going to make it past 2012, so that's mm -hmm. funny. So I'm going to show you a few photos, and you have to guess which one is the original. Okay. I love doing these. I love doing these because, truthfully, where are we getting these mental images from? Honestly, I that's the thing like about the Mandela effect. Like, how are we supposed to know it's the Mandela effect? Because mm -hmm. we all remember the same thing. 
So we have Captain Crunch and Cap'n Crunch. Which one do you think is correct? Take your time. Mm. That blue outline on the Cap'n Crunch is what is what like sings to me more. So Cap'n or Captain? Cap'n. Cap'n Crunch. The blue out the blue outline like tells okay. me. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You're mm. correct. Okay. Now. We is have... it, but is it the other one? No, you're correct. Cap'n. That's how it is now. No, that's that's the original. You're oh, correct. okay, okay. Oh, and you have it. Okay, my bad. I yeah. completely <laughs> forgot the game. <laughs> so we have Jigsaw here, right? Mm -hmm. You know the movies, Jigsaw, the franchise. Right. So is his signature line, I want to play a game, wanna play a game, or do you want to play a game? Oh. Let me know if you want me to repeat. Oh, do you want to play a game, want to play a game, or I, I want to play, play a game? game. Mm -hmm. Gotta say it is, I want to play a game. Oh, no, it's not that. Do you? Do you want? I think it's do you want to play a game. So, I, had to, I had to say it verbally. Do but... you think Jigsaw's signature line is, do you want to play a game? Wrong. It's, I want to play a game. That sounds so ugly coming off the it tongue. It really does sound unnatural. Yeah, I want to play a game. That doesn't, like, that doesn't sound like right. I would think it's, do you want to play a game? Or want to play a game? But that's probably like, um, it. Pennywise or something. Jesus, I... <laughs> Those weren't even my movies, though. I hate. I hated the Saw movies because of how just bloody suspense. Suspense ain't for me. Suspense ain't for me. Ain't for me. I hate it. Now we have this one for Target. Mm, here's the Target logo. Or this one. Oh shit! Hold on. That. Oh god! That did something to my this eyes. This one. Or this one. Oh, okay. It adds a, an additional white circle in the middle. So thin or thick. Oh, no, nah, I think it's the thinner ones. I think it's the one with the white in the middle. Let's see if you're right, because I wrote down the answers. Hmm. It's the thick one. Are you serious? Yeah. That shit didn't look like it had enough rows, enough circles in it. I don't know how, but apparently it's the thick one. Next one. We have the laughing cow. Oh, I think I've heard of this one. So. The laughing cow, yes. The oh, with the, with the nose ring. The nose ring. Nose ring? Or, or no, no nose, ring. nose ring. Or no, no, no nose ring. <laughs> I, from what it looked like, I would say nose ring, but I think, like, I remember it being like no nose ring, but I'm saying nose ring. Nose ring? Mm -hmm. Wrong! Yeah, no nose I ring. I knew it. I remember hearing that one. It's still blowing my mind back then. Okay, so now we have your fave. Tony oh. the Tiger. Oh, I love some Frosted Flakes. So, okay. This that one. first first I'm not even going to look at that one. Hold on. First and foremost, that looks right. Everything about that looks right off of the commercials and everything. What changed? The nose. <gasps> Holy sh No, 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 definitely the blue one. The blue one? Definitely the blue one. If you say anything other than the blue one, I'm going to break something. Put your answers down below. I hate you. <laughs> the blue one. Okay, thank goodness. I was going to shit myself. Jif. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jif. It's Jif. It's Jif. Fuck you. I literally yep, have it's peanut Jif. butter baby over here. I love me some peanut butter. Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes? I, re I remember this one as well. I remember it being tunes as in cartoons, not tunes as in music. Oh, oh, or you? I'd say, I, I would say, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Mm -hmm. It's tunes with I a remember. U in it. I've heard that one. That makes no sense. Why would it be music instead of cartoons? I have no idea. Let's see the next one. Fruit Loops or Fruit Loops? Ooh. Oh, no, no. Wait. Ooh. I feel like the fruit with the two O's is too illiterate. I would, I'm going to have to say fruit. Fruit Loops. Fruit? Yeah. Wrong. It's the devil. You're row. shitting me because I would never remember it being... That is... No. I do not believe that because... Hey. Taken up with Mandela. All right? <laughs> not Mandela himself. Pikachu. See, this one's going to fuck me up. Yellow tail or black tail? I remember... I think I remember seeing this one too because... I th the newer one is definitely the one with the brown at the base of the tail, but for me, I would say the black tail. 
because that's what comes to my mind first and foremost. So black tail? Yeah. Wrong. Mm-hmm. It's yellow tail. It. Kit Kat or Kit Kat? Hyphen is the difference. I bought you these the other day. Oh my god. The hyphen doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. You so without check. it. You're right. Okay. No hyphen. Good. Cheese it or cheese its? With the Z. With the Z. Cheese its. Without the Z. What? Cheese it? Without the Z. Cheese it? That doesn't even make cheese it. How many do you have right so far? Do you suck at this too? That's and the now, F in the chat, bro. Which one is it? Gold or one silver leg? C3. If I'm not mistaken, C3PO was built by Anakin in his little hut. I'm gonna say, oh, doesn't he have different parts in like the newer movies? I'm gonna go with Silver Leg C3PO. Ah, you're right. I see. I knew it. One I silver knew leg. it. I knew it. He was supposed. To, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he was like just built from what Anakin had at his disposal, or was it Luke? I don't know. I, have, I don't know anything about Star Wars. So so far. You knocked it out the park. I actually I don't even know. I should have kept count. I'll keep track How of the videos. How many did Brian get right? How many did you get right? Mm -hmm. So we have a really great show recommendation on Prime Video. It's called Adam Eve. I think it's like the prequel. Well, it's to actually it's Invincible. In, it's Invincible. Yeah, the episode oh, is just about Adam Eve. Watched, if you haven't watched Invincible, watch that too on Prime mm -hmm. Video. And she's literally so dope. I take back my answer of wanting teleportation as a power because mm -hmm. she's able to just create things out of nothing out of nothing out of nothing um if you haven't seen invincible at all it's a comic book series that has been adapted into like a tv show almost anime mm -hmm. type of style it's awesome the if you're not really into anime it's a great kind of show to warm your way in because it was my first mm -hmm. it's almost it's almost like the boys in a cartoon show. I know they have that on Prime Video now as well, but it was like that before that came out. Mm -hmm. uh, but first season is essentially about an alien who finds his way onto Earth and he has a kid and that kid grows up to be a superhero in the lamest of terms. Um, but this season two prequel is basically taking us back to before the first season and it's based around the female protagonist lead essentially Adam her name Eve. is Adam Eve yeah basically yeah. describing how she got her powers and cementing the fact that she's going to be a big part of this upcoming season right now but yeah like Yvette said her powers like um towards the beginning of that episode like they were a little bit weaker but towards the end she almost becomes like a god level threat i wouldn't say they were weaker i would say that she just didn't know she had them she was always mm -hmm. a little bit different this is definitely a spoiler but it's going to get you yeah. to watch the show um she is being raised by mortal parents only because the scientists who helped create her switch babies at birth to make the government think that she died because she is their perfect subject weapon. their perfect weapon so after he gave her away making them think that she was dead mm -hmm. they've been trying and trying to create a new her and it's kind of disgusting at what really they did disgusting. create and they sent these hooligans <laughs> her siblings to come collect her or kill her mm -hmm. either way and she inevitably um defeated them beat their ass beat their ass but it's an amazing show. The difference in animations from the first one, from the first season to this prequel episodes has me incredibly excited just mm -hmm. because you can see the anime inspiration in that prequel episode. Like it is so much more fast paced. Like there are more minute movements and details that are still like focused on. It's not just like all out brawls of super mm -hmm. powerful people just swinging on each other. It actually looks like And fights. she is just a kid who was learning how to use her powers and she's honestly the strongest freaking superhero out there. Mm -hmm. And her upbringing is kind of sad. Oh, it's sad as hell. Because everyone pretty much isolated her because she was weird. She's, she's the weird kid she on the block. She can see Adam. She can see everything broken down. So they just thought she was a weirdo. And her mm -hmm. own parents 
don't know how to handle her and her dad hates her. She had a like, best friend and that best friend became an op as, as soon, soon as, she, as she showed her her power. As soon as she found out, I'd be damned. She was like, look, I can make a cheeseburger. And she was like, oh, you freak. I would have ate the fuck out of that cheeseburger. People I'd be are so damned. Weird. I would be so like just admiring a person if they showed me they had if my homeboy had superpowers i would look at him be like bro how we how we getting that to me like exactly like do i have to drink your blood like eat one of your fingers like how do i get that's some jujitsu kaisen shit (laughs) i want your power not yours but i want a piece of that power. yeah like how we be superheroes together isolating people because they're smart like that's weird. Mm-mm-mm. So go watch it on Amazon Prime or wherever you can. I think it's and only let us on know Amazon Prime. <laughs> it might be a Prime original. It is, I think so. <laughs> and that was just the snippet of the season to come. Mm-hmm. So you best believe we're gonna be talking about them episodes when they drop. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I can't wait. Literally, and I would like to give you guys a big thank you if you've made it this far into the episode. Mm-hmm. That means you are truly gang. We love and you. If you are gang, I have a question for you. So this is our little secret question that only the people who have made it to the end will be able to answer down below. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is going to be like, "Why are they saying this? What does that mean?" So the question is, what is the longest recorded river in the world? In the exactly. world, exactly. Put mm-hmm. it down below. Shoot, mm-hmm. leave a couple of comments. Like, again, subscribe because we want to at least push out two videos a week as we continue to keep working on our flow and stuff. Mm-hmm. Growing and get better. So subscribe so you know when our next episode is dropping. Hit the bell notification so you know when it does. And if you guys are gamers, Brian has his own channel. We'll put like links and stuff <laughs> here and end card at the end so you guys can go on his page and interact with him with video games, oh, you, give baby. him suggestions. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Thank you. We'll catch y'all in the next one, y'all. Exactly. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Oh,